I'm laying on a gurney. Mm -hmm. Describe this gurney for me. It's Where like a you? it's it's a darker room. Mm -hmm. There's a light above me. The gurney is made of a hard like greenish substance. There's a mattress, like a thin mattress. There's a white covering. Mm -hmm. There's a light above me. Look around. What else is in this room? Does this seem like a normal room? It's dark. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hazy dark. So I'd like for you to use that internal light that you have and light up that room. And let's find out what this room is. There's like a cabinet, a white cabinet that's like porcelain. Mm -hmm. behind the light against the wall. There are like medicines inside. It has a glass top. The bottom is like a cupboard. On the surface there's like a glass jars with like tweezers, mm -hmm. cotton, there's a liquid, a jar with liquid. Does that jar say anything on it? The only thing I see is poison, mm -hmm. poison. So I'd like for you now to focus on your own body and tell me what your body looks like there. I'm small. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? Twelve. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Very thin. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? Female. Mm -hmm. Very fair haired. Very pale. What do you imagine is the reason why you're there? My side hurts. Pain, my side. Let's focus on that pain and let's find out how you got that pain. Pain coming from inside. Mm -hmm. Pain coming from like organ inside. Let's zero in on which organ it's coming from. Appendix. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens next. Advance that scene a little bit. Waking up in a room. There's a lot of light in the room. There's a small window towards the ceiling. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. How 
How old are you there? Twelve. Mm-hmm. So this is right after? Yes. Mm-hmm. So what's happened? Something was removed. How do you feel now? Sore. Mm-hmm. Not pain like before, not bloated pain. Like burning pain. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Let's continue. I'm sleeping. There is a woman putting my head up and making me drink water. The water's coming down the sides of my face. I just want to sleep. Tell me more. You can fast forward through the sleep and see what happens after you, after you're awake. I am being led down a hall, down a stairway, mm -hmm. and out the side of a building, and outside. Our horses. I see horses. Mm -hmm. Like a, not a stagecoach, like covered, but like a flatbed something mm -hmm. where you sit. There's a man on one side. There's a woman leading me on the other side. Who is the, this woman? She's a gentle woman. She's wearing a scarf. Mm -hmm. She's stern, but caring. Mm -hmm. She's my mother. Take a look into her eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize her in the life of Mardell now? She's my aunt. Mm -hmm. She's my aunt, Shirley. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's say what happens now. Where do you go? We're going down kind of a dirt road. There's a stream on the side of this road. It's painful. Where I had something removed, it's painful. Mm -hmm. I'm weak. I just want to lie down. So let's find out where it is that you go. See yourself arriving. Go down this long driveway. It's a dirt driveway, but it's long. The house is kind of up higher. It's a very small house. Mm -hmm. It's got a very wide door on the front. It's very, it's like wooden. One window on the front, mm -hmm. but it's got like a side like a cellar on this side. Mm -hmm. There's a gray cat. A gray cat looking at me. Mm -hmm. Connect with that gray cat. What does he say to you? He missed me. Mm -hmm. 
What do you call that cat? Moki. Imoki? Moki. Moki. Do you recognize the soul of Moki? Yes. Mm-hmm. Who is Moki now? Moki is Pixie. Mm-hmm. My dog. So let's find out what happens next. I'm being led inside. There's a loft. And the loft is familiar. But I'm being led to a bed below. I'm being led to lie down. I'm being taken care of. How does that make you feel? I feel safe. Mm Mm-hmm. Is there anything else from the scene that is important? It's not well lit, and there aren't very many windows. Very small inside. But I feel safe. Very good. So let's close that scene now. Close that scene, and let's go to another important scene in that same lifetime. Something that impacted your life. I'm at school. Mm -hmm. The schoolhouse is red. There's a mean boy that gets to ring the bell. He's pulling down the string. He's looking at me. Who is this mean boy? Take a look at his eyes. He has really blue, blue eyes. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you recognize those eyes? Those are the eyes of my stepdad, Bob. Mm-hmm. What happens now that he's ringing the bell? Everybody's going inside. Everybody is lining up. It's chilly. It's chilly inside. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Everybody is sitting. And the teacher is at the front of the room writing something on the board. I forgot to bring my book. I have to share. I have a sister that's sharing her book. What's your name? What do you call your sister? Donna. Mm-hmm. How old is Donna? Eleven. Mm-hmm. Look at Donna's eyes and see if you recognize her. Uh, 
Anna's my cousin, Marcia. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to have to share your book with Donna? Donna's mothering. She always gets me out of trouble. Mm -hmm. I feel safe because she helped me. Mm -hmm. The boy that was ringing the bell, the one that was my stepdad, mm -hmm. she's looking at him with an ugly look on her face. Is she protecting you? She's warning him. Mm. Does he listen? No. So what happens? He wants to hurt her. Mm. He wants to hurt her. And he can hurt her by hurting me. So what happens? We're walking. He's behind us. He pushes me into a log. She goes to him pushing at him, kicking at him. There's another, there's a man that's walking through that grabs him and grabs her and tells us to go home. Who is this man? This man is my real dad. What are you picking up from him? From his soul? He's confused. He's sad. He's protective. Mm -hmm. Anything else from this scene that's important? It's... It's fall. Mm -hmm. I lost something. Something I was supposed to take home. How does that make you feel? I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens when you get home. See yourself there now. My mom is sitting in a chair. She's sewing. There's food cooking on the stove. It's a big pot. And she gets up and stirs and sits back down and sews. She tells us to take care of the animals and to bring water.
What happens next? We're setting the table for dinner. There's bread. We don't get bread very often. There's bread. We're excited. But there's no, there's no father. Mm -hmm. There's three. There's my sister and I and my mom. What do you imagine happened to your father? He comes there sometimes. Mm -hmm. I see him working really hard. He works away. He has to travel. Mm -hmm. What does he do for a living? He traps animals. Mm -hmm. He sells. He sells animal pelts. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to not have your father home? Kind of empty. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's close that scene now. Let's move on. You're a little older now to a significant event in your life, something that is impacting you now. Where are you? I'm in my house. Where are you? I'm in my house. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Fourteen. Mm -hmm. My mom, she's angry with me. Why is that? I didn't do everything she told me to do. Mm -hmm. Didn't do your chores? I was supposed to I took something to school to wear. Mm -hmm. She didn't want me to wear. She's pulling my hair. She's hurting my head. She's making me mad. What do you do? I walk away and I go in my room. I hate her. Tell me more. She doesn't want me to look pretty. Why is that? People tell her I'm pretty. She doesn't want me to show off my my figure. Mm -hmm. She wants me to dress in baggy clothes. Mm -hmm. Are you a girl there? I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. She's jealous of me. What is your name in that lifetime? Sarah. Mm -hmm. So she wants you to wear baggy clothes? Yes. Mm -hmm. How long are your clothes? A little bit above a little bit above my calf, mm -hmm. below, right below the knee. So what happens now, Sarah? I stay in my room. She yells at me to come out. She yells at me to set the table. So it's dinner time. Mm-hmm. 
Take a look at your mother's eyes. Who is she? She's an artist. Mm -hmm. My mother. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what has happened to your mother in that lifetime that has caused her to be so angry with you. Go back in time and let's find out the origin of this. See yourself drifting back. When did this all begin? There's a man. Mm -hmm. Who is this man? He's an older man, mm -hmm. not her father. How old is she? Ten. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. He makes her sit on the steps. Where are these steps? They lead upstairs mm -hmm. to the bedroom. There are there are other children around. What is it's, it's morning. Mm -hmm. They're ready for school. She's not able to go to school. Why is that? She has to stay home and do chores. Why is she singled out? She's the oldest mm -hmm. of the girls. So what happens next? The kids are gone. The house is quiet. And he tells her to go upstairs. And she's telling him no. No. see his face. Read his soul. The soul has a print. He's not a relative. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he's there. Mm -hmm. What happens next? He throws my... He throws her down. He's throwing her down, and it's not on the bed. And he's slapping her on the face. And he's telling her she's bad. And that she has to do what he tells him, that he tells her to do to him. She's sick. He's doing bad things to her. It hurts. She can't breathe. <laughs> He's walking away. He's going.
going downstairs. She's scared. She doesn't want to move. She's confused. So as you see her there, I'd like for you to see her on a soul level. And I want you to see what has happened to her soul. See how her soul has been fractured. And let's find out what she has done with a piece of her soul. Where has she hidden that part of that little girl's soul? She doesn't feel like a little girl. Mm -hmm. Where has she hidden that part? Her heart, mm -hmm. her stomach. Mm -hmm. So let's help her today heal that part and bring that little part back, that little girl, bring it back to her. Seal her soul again. smiling. Mm -hmm. Read her soul. See if it's complete now. She's free. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's leave that scene. And now let's go drifting and floating to another place, another time, where there's information that you need to look for today. Let's find out. Go to another dream. I'm a boy. Mm -hmm. I'm hiding. What's going on? There's horses. There's arrows. Mm -hmm. I'm hiding. I'm ten. It's really hot. What are you hiding from? I'm hiding from people on horses. What do these people on horses look like? They have on hats. They have on drab clothes, baggy pants. They look like, they're like cowboys. Mm -hmm. My throat hurts. Look at your throat and see why. There's a big scratch across my throat. How did you get that scratch? It was from an arrow. It didn't go in. It braised my throat. And I'm hiding. Mm -hmm. Who else is there with you? I can see at a distance that there are some women. 
huddled together and little children. There's a fire. There's a smoke. Mm -hmm. Who are you hiding from? The men on horses. They're there to hurt us. They, they're taking our things. Is there no one there to protect you? They don't know I'm there. Where is it that you're hiding that they can't see you? I'm in the trees. Mm -hmm. By big rocks. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I hear gunfire. Loud, echoing. There are people tied up. There are men tied up. Native American men. I'm one of them. They're riding off, but they're taking women with them. What do you do? I'm hiding. I know I have to hide until it's dark to know they're gone. So let's advance that scene and allow the dark to come. There's still a faint sparks in the fire. There's still men tied up to trees. I'm untying men from trees. We have nothing. Our shelters are tore down. Our supplies are gone. What happened to the women and children? The women, the men took the women and children. They had other horses. The men that I've untied are angry. They know, they know where these people come from. They will go to get the women back. I will go with them. So let's close that scene and let's go to that scene. There are like small wood structures and outbuildings. We do have horses, but they have some of our horses. The men are drinking and throwing things. Mm -hmm. 
What are they throwing? Glass. Mm -hmm. They're making loud noises. The women are in the outbuildings where the animals are. Mm -hmm. we're, we're taking the women and children and we're taking some of the horses and we're riding away. They don't see us. We're safe. We don't go back where we were. My sister's there. Mm -hmm. But my mother's not there. What happened to them? My mother's not there. My mother's dead. But my sister's there. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your sister's eyes and see if you recognize her. That's my daughter, Melissa. Mm -hmm. So now, let's close that scene and let's move to another important scene in that same lifetime. When something is ab impacting you. I'm a teacher. Mm-hmm. Are you male or female? I'm a female. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy. I just want to sing. I want to teach them songs. I want them to tell me their stories. I want us to have fun. Where are you? In a schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. What year is this? 1800s, mm -hmm. late 1800s. What name do they go by there? Miss Cherry. Mm -hmm. Miss Cherry? Miss Cherry. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Cherry, what do you teach these children? I teach them love. I teach them studies. I help them so much. How many students do you have? Eleven. Mm. There's an older boy and a very young boy. There are four boys and the rest are girls, mm -hmm. seven. Do you have any favorites? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite? The older boy. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Silas. Silas. What's special about Silas? He has brown eyes. He's very nice, very helpful. Do you recognize those eyes? That's my son, Tim. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Cherry, let's see what happens next. Let's go to the next important scene in that lifetime. I'm 
walking up a hill. I'm out of breath. I'm very old. How old are you there? 40. Mm-hmm. 40 is old. Mm -hmm. I want to be away from everybody. Why is that? I want to go away to die. What happened to you? I'm just old, mm -hmm. tired. Mm -hmm. So I, what, where do you go to die? Climbing a hill. There's some rocks. And there's an area around the rock that I go inside. It's like a cave. Mm -hmm. And I lie down. And I just want to rest. I want to die. to take your last breath and transition out of that body and tell me what happens to your body as you leave it what happens to your soul as you watch that body I'm at peace mm -hmm. I feel good mm -hmm. where do you go? I'm floating. I'm floating above everybody. Mm -hmm. What can you see from that perspective? I see houses, small houses. There's people. There's children with happy faces. There's animals everywhere. I feel at peace. So keep going and tell me where you end up. I have people with me. I have angels with mm -hmm. me. How many do you see? Three. Who are these angels? These angels came from God to bring me home. Mm -hmm. But I'm told I must wait. I can't enter. Why is that? I have to observe. I have to be above people. Mm -hmm. I have to watch people. I have to watch over people until all the people come with the angels. So what does that entail? What does that mean? Who are all the people? They're young people. They're young. They're my children's children's children. Mm -hmm. My children. My relatives. I try to talk to them, but they can't hear me. But I'm happy. They're sad because I'm gone. 
How do you feel? I'm happy. Mm -hmm. But when you see them so sad, how does that make you feel? I want to hold them. Mm -hmm. And as you're watching these people, do you get any assistance from these angels? The angels have led me to these people, back to my people. The angels are gone. Mm -hmm. This is what I have to do until all of my people are gone. And as my people go, I have to bring them to a spot where they do what I do. So let's fast forward now through several different lifetimes and see what's happening in the life of Mardell. There's music. I love music. Where are you? There's a big hall, a big auditorium, and I'm at the forefront. There's lots of people around, and there's beautiful music. What do these people look like? They're dressed really, really nice. Mm -hmm. In what way? The women are wearing stoles and dresses and hats. Mm -hmm. The men are wearing hats and coats and slacks. Mm -hmm. What is this event where there's so much beautiful music? It's an orchestra. People are coming to hear the orchestra. Mm -hmm. What year is this? Nineteen twenties. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female there? I'm a male. Mm -hmm. I'm very tall. I'm very skinny. How do people address you? My name is Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about your life, Benjamin. How old are you? 30. Mm -hmm. I like to drink. Mm -hmm. What do you drink? I drink whiskey. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel funny. Are you there by yourself, or do you have a, a lady friend? Or a wife? I have a wife. Mm -hmm. She's not happy with me. Why is that? I stumble. Mm -hmm. I spill her cooking. I didn't pay the bill, and I make her cry. Look in your wife's eyes and tell me who she is. I don't like her. Is that why you do things to her? Is that why you drink? Yes. Mm hmm So why did you marry her if you don't like her? We were put together. Mm hmm 
we were forced together. Who forced you? Our parents. Mm -hmm. I don't like her. So let's see what happens next. Go to the next important scene of your life there. It's Christmas time. I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. There's a big tree. There's lights on the tree. Mm -hmm. There's candy on the tree. Who's there with you? I have my mother, my father. Mm -hmm. I have two sisters. Mm -hmm. And I have three brothers. Are you a boy or a girl there? I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. What's your name? I'm a princess. What's your name there? Christine. Christine. Yes. I can do anything I want. Why is that, Christine? They all love me. Mm -hmm. I'm the baby. Your parents have lots of money? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does your father do for a living? He works at a bank. Mm -hmm. What year is this for you, Christine? Nineteen forties. Mm -hmm. And how old are you? I'm three. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. I have a doll. My doll's name is Anna. Do you go everywhere with your doll? Yes. Mm -hmm. My mom made her clothes to match my clothes. So you look like twins. Yes. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? I love her. Mm -hmm. I love her hair. She has red hair. I have red hair too. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. Everybody loves me. I don't look like them. I have red hair. What do they look like? My brother, my oldest, is a brother. He has dark hair. Mm -hmm. My sister... Blonde hair. There's a mixture, but no red. I'm the only red hair. Mm -hmm. I love my oldest brother. What's his name? Tim. Mm -hmm. Tim. Look into his eyes. Who is he in the life of Mardell? He's my uncle, Larry. Mm -hmm. And what about your sister? Who is she? She's Amanda. Mm -hmm. She's so nice. Do you have another sister? Yes. What does she look like? 
She has almost white hair. Her name is Sadie. Mm -hmm. She's pretty. She smiles. She sings. She's going to teach me how to sing. Look into her eyes. Do you recognize her? Yes. Who is she? She's my friend, Gloria. Mm -hmm. So Sadie's going to teach you to sing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's move forward until you're a little older and let's see what happens. I have such beautiful clothes. My oldest brother is dying. What's wrong with him? They don't know. He won't get better. He's dying. My mom's crying. He's my favorite. He can't die. So let's advance that scene and let's see what happens with, with him. Oh, it's so sad. He's gone. How does that make you feel, Christine? I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. He always protected me. He's, he, he told me stories. He called me princess. So let's find out how your life changes now that your brother is gone. Everybody still loves me. Everybody's kind of sad. But we talk about him. And we have his picture. And his picture smiles at me. And I feel him there. Connect with his soul. What does he tell you? He tells me he had the best life. He tells me to not settle for less than anybody that makes me happy. And he tells me to not keep secrets. He tells me he's always there. How does that feel to know that Tim is always with you? I feel good. Mm -hmm. He promises me he'll never leave me. And I know he'll never leave me. He's there. Very good. So let's leave that scene now, leaving Christine there to continue on her journey. And let's call in the higher self now. Take a deep breath in. And let me speak with the higher self. Yes. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. Would you tell Mardell why you showed her these lives today? Why did you show her the one with the boy with the appendix? To know how pain feels. 
to know that pain isn't always bad. What did you what did you want to show her in this life about that? Why is it relevant to her life now? Her life really doesn't have a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. She had her pain in past. Okay. So then you showed her one with her mother angry at her. You took her back to when she was a little girl and was being attacked. Would you tell her why you showed her that scene? She needs to understand her mom does not know better. Were you giving her an insight of her mom? Yes. Now that she understands what happened, is she able to forgive her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to take some of that from her today? Yes. That's very good. So I'm going to put my hand on your chest and I want you to go through all of your cells and pull out all of that pain from your life of not being understood, of not getting along with her, of not understanding why she was the way she was. Give it all to me. I release. Let's give it up to the universe. And now that you have that space that's empty, what would you like to fill it with? Oh, love. Let's love. put a fire hose of love in there. Feel that force coming in to every cell of your body. Yes. Feel it coming in. Yes. Beautiful. I love. Yeah. I love. Mm -hmm. Feel it going in. I love. Mm hmm. And now I'm going to touch your forehead and let's seal that in. Thank seal you. all that love in. I'm sealing that love in forever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Swim in it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now I'd like for you to tell her what is the purpose of showing her that life as that little Indian boy where his mother was killed. What was the reason for that life? I want her to know that she can survive in the worst of times. And that sometimes it's all not lost. It seems she's been on survival mode for a long time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she's at a crossroad right now where she doesn't know whether she should move or not. And in that life, they did pick up and move and start it all over again. Yes. Was that the message? Can she yeah. pick up and move? She will. She will. She will. Mm-hmm. Very good. Do you have any other message? for her about that. She will follow her heart. Mm -hmm. What's happened to her heart now? She seems to be in foreign territory with it. She's learning to trust. Mm -hmm. She's been presented with someone she can trust. Is this someone who will be her life partner? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you tell her why you showed her the life of the teacher who wanted to sing? She is a teacher. Mm -hmm. She always has a song in her heart. She hides it. Mm -hmm. 
she needs to bring it out. So is she hiding this part of her? Yes. Where is she hiding that part? Her throat. All right. So are we ready to retrieve that part of her that has been hiding in her throat? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you now, Mardell, to see where it is that that cord is that's holding that piece of you. Where is it attached to? Where is it supposed to be? Shouldn't be there. Mm hmm. So, do we need to cut that cord? Yes. All right, so go ahead and let's begin severing that cord. It's severed. Very good. And we want to be able to sever that entire cord. Yes. And let's find where it's anchored to, the other side. Where is it connected to? Anger. Anger. Mm-hmm. And where is that anger residing? In her gut. In her gut. Okay. Is this anger something that she has created, or is it an entity that's attached to her? This is her suppression. Her suppression. Yes. All right. So... Now that we know that she is suppressing this, let's find a way to retrieve all of that anger and let's pull it out. Would you allow me to pull that anger out? Please. All right. So I'm going to put my hand over her gut. Is that why her gut is inflamed? Yes. All right. So let's bring that out, 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 out. And let's bring that out and you can just express that anger right out. Oh. Bring it right out. Yes. Mm-hmm. And what does that gut look like now? Clean. Very, clear. Very clear. So while we're speaking, higher self, I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to begin healing that area of her gut that's held that anger and also her throat that's been affected. Can we get him to do that? Yes. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. And while... Archangel Raphael is working on her throat and on her gut. I'd like to ask you why you showed her the life of that man, Benjamin, who hated his wife so much. What was that life about? So she could see what it's like to be controlled. Mm -hmm. And to know that she shouldn't hate, that she has more power without turning to alcohol. Mm -hmm. So is there something that we need to heal today so that she doesn't turn to alcohol? She won't turn to alcohol. She turns to alcoholics. Ah, all right. That's the message. So do we need to disconnect from that life now so that doesn't affect her? Yes. Go ahead and let's sever that lifetime, that cord that's connecting her from this one to that one. She doesn't need that anymore. Yes. Thank you. And then you showed her the life of little Christine. Mm. Who was very happy. Yes. Why did you show her that lifetime? Because that's her. Mm -hmm. That's her. She's a very loving person. And she should, that love should be returned to her as she projects it to mm -hmm. others. So what is it that's keeping her from accepting that love? She gives and she gives. It's because she trusts too much. Mm -hmm. So what is that doing to her? 
she's giving too much and finding out that there's not enough to give back. Mm -hmm. So what did you, what do you suggest about that? To continue to project love, Mm -hmm. but to realize that it can't always be returned the way she gives. Mm -hmm. To look beyond So just enjoy the fact that she gives all of this? Yes. And instead of expecting others to give back, just enjoy the giving. The giving gives her the high vibration. Mm -hmm. And that's where she needs to be. She needs to be there to tune in to the angels, Mm -hmm. to the higher self. Mm -hmm. What angels are working with her right now? Uriel. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, Michael. Mm -hmm. Raphael. Mm -hmm. And I'm not... There's one other that is a a male, but kind of like a female. Mm-hmm. It's got both male and female energy. Mm-hmm. And what is the why are they there today helping? She asks them to come in all the time. Mm-hmm. She asks the angels to come in. Mm-hmm. But these are the ones that are are her soul angels. Okay. Is Uriel working to heal her heart today? Absolutely. Thank you, Uriel. Thank you. Is she on the right path with her life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Any tips for her? To accept and trust love mm-hmm. has she had a hard time with that yes mm-hmm. did she seal off her heart yes mm-hmm. so how does her heart look today healthy mm-hmm. open beautiful about to be fulfilled oh, wonderful thank you very much for that and what is her purpose in life in this lifetime help others, Mm -hmm. to love, to give love. And I think she's doing that, isn't she? To be with the animals, to protect and save them. Mm -hmm. She's doing everything she's supposed to be doing. Good. But even though she's doing everything she's supposed to be doing, she's still lacking in confidence. In self-confidence, she's able to be able. She's able to help others by reading them. But for some reason, she has a block on herself. Why is that? She's hard on herself. Mm-hmm. She's almost afraid to have good feelings. Why is that? Where is that coming from? From her childhood. She had one good childhood. But her childhoods have been difficult. Mm -hmm. Did she choose this childhood to be difficult for a purpose? Yes, yes. Tell her why. To learn young, to be able to protect herself. Mm -hmm. Yes. So she had a childhood boot camp. Yes. Mm -hmm. So does she need to be part of that uh, membership anymore, of that boot camp? No, no, no. So we can disconnect from that. We release that. Let's release that, disconnect that, and let's let that go. Let it go. She just understands that she is now a graduate She's strong, she's confident, she's got her angels and her guides. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. Beautiful. What's what's going on with her um, fear of water and snakes and spiders? Where is that coming from? Could you show her a picture of that lifetime, a flash, so that she could see the origin? She has almost drowned in a couple of lifetimes. Mm -hmm. so One was in the 1800s, and when she was a teacher. Mm -hmm. And she made it. She didn't know how to swim? She didn't know how to swim. Mm -hmm. So that's a self-confidence builder right there. But she made it. Mm -hmm. And after she made it, that's why she always wanted to sing. So and can we take the good stuff from that life and leave the other ones, the other thing behind? Yes. Let's disconnect from that traumatic experience. Yes. That's affecting her. What part of her body, what chakra is it affecting? Her third eye. Her third eye. So we don't need to block, have that blocked anymore, do we? No. All right, so let's disconnect from that trauma, knowing that this is not hers to carry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What about the snakes? The Indian boy mm -hmm. was tormented by snakes. Why is that? Did he attract them? He attracted them. Mm -hmm. But he attracted too many. And he had to prove loyalty by snakes, by oh. trusting snakes. Ah, is that part of the ritual? Yes. Mm -hmm. A snake never hurt him, but he always feared it would. Mm -hmm. He did not like them. So what does this mean in the life now of Mardell? What is the metaphor that we're taking from this? How is it affecting her? I equate the snakes to men. Mm-hmm. There's been many of them, haven't there? There have been many men that loved her or wanted to love her. And she was afraid of them. She was violated by the one that she loved the most. So now she's looking ahead with life with her life partner. Yes. And we can't have her being afraid of snakes anymore. No. We release that fear. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. And what about the spiders? She attracts them in this life. Mm -hmm. Why is that? What do they need from her? To keep her alert. Mm. To let her know that she does have some control. So does she have a contract with these spiders? An agreement? That she would never be bit, but she would never hurt them. Mm. Not in a... Not in a big way. Mm -hmm. So does she need to have all these spiders in her life anymore? No, they right. need to go away. All right, so we can... Can we send them a message of love? Yes. Mm -hmm. Send out that message of love, telling them that... They don't need to to do this with her anymore. They need to stay away. Mm-hmm. Yes. They can have their own space outside. Yes. 
and when she comes that they will immediately feel her vibration and they move out of their way yes very good so they're thank, gone thank you very much thank you so she has a question about her career she wants to know how many more years does she have to work Two. Two more years? Two. Mm hmm Will she continue to be doing the psychic work after that? Yes. Mm hmm That's her calling. Mm hmm But not in the same capacities now. No, no. Any tips on that for her? Her third eye is more open now. Mm -hmm. Who's working on that now? Her guides and angels. Good. Is she on the right path giving these people psychic readings? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. What did she choose to do this this time around? To help, to give love, mm -hmm. to make people happy. And it makes her happy, too. It makes her very happy. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that she should be doing? Singing. Mm. Bringing out the Christine? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What would the singing be for? For herself? For her soul. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that she should be doing to be making her happier? Just helping animals and people, mm -hmm. which she's already doing. Good. Very good. Would you do a body scan on her and let's see what's going on with her body? Stomach. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? Digestive. What is it that she can't stomach? Meat. Mm hmm Now, she said that she has been going vegan for a while. Yes. Mm hmm Chemicals in food. Mm hmm Has she been dealing with that? Yes. Mm hmm Does she continue to have to deal with that? No. Okay. So why does she continue to have digestive issues? She was holding anger. Yes, that's that's it. So did we remove that already? Yes. Okay. So does she need to heal to, to heal from this now? Yes. All right. So we had already asked Archangel Raphael to work on that. Yes. Would you take a look inside and see how that has changed on the inside? Oh, there's a release. Mm-hmm. Good. There's space for happiness. Wonderful. And when she sings, will that help? Yes. Very yeah, right, good. good. That's a vibration for her soul. Good. So how is it once she starts releasing all of this that's being held for so long, how can she maintain her ideal weight? By being happy. Mm -hmm. By moving. Where does she need to move to? Well, moving exercise, exercise. moving, okay. walking. Walking. Being happy, walking, mm -hmm. eating natural foods. So no processed. No processed. Mm -hmm. Good. 
So this vegan lifestyle, is this the best for her? For her health? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wonderful. What about the diabetes? Gone. Gone. Okay, good. Nothing there. No. Anything else that you see in her body? Very healthy. Very healthy. Very good. Mentally, physically, emotionally? Emotionally getting better. Mm -hmm. Mentally pretty good. Mm -hmm. so what physically starting to download mm -hmm. fat. Good. How long will it take her to get back to her ideal weight? One year. One year. Very good. That's pretty good. One year. Mm -hmm. So can I ask for a guide on her behalf to help her as a nutrition expert and motivational guide to help her go out there and start exercising and eating even better? Yes. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else that she needs to do to improve in her health and well-being? Forgive everyone. Mm -hmm. Pray. To speak her mind. Very good. Would you check on her aura and her chakras and tell me if there's any that need to be aligned today? Throat. Mm -hmm. Third eye. Mm -hmm. So can you do that for her, please? Stomach. Mm. Sacral. Yes. Thank you. Clearing. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Are there any guides or angels that would get, like to give her a message today? Yes. Continue to choose love in everything. Let yourself be happy. Don't be the last. Very good. Do you have any message for anybody else today? Just her children are very, very loved. Mm -hmm. And she will be complete with her life partner. Wonderful. Are we complete today? Yes. Very good. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so let me switch your selenite for some shungite so you can ground yourself. Let's take these and tell me what you experienced. It was like above myself mm -hmm. and feeling pain, mm -hmm. feeling happiness, mm -hmm. and understanding. I mean, it just made sense, huh? It opens up everything that I've wondered about. Yeah. That's pretty, some pretty nasty stuff there, so. You know, a lot of my lives, so I've, and it was the childhood mm -hmm. that was unhappy. Yeah. The husband, I was a husband to my sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. No wonder that I 
don't really care for her. Mm-hmm. You were forced marriage. Forced marriage, but that was crazy mm-hmm. in itself. Yeah. But it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Christine, the, the Christine. <laughs> wow, that little girl. I've had a happy childhood that mm-hmm. that you loved. Oh, it was like. You know, everybody was just in tune. Everybody was happy. Yeah. And there was a loss. But even though I lost my brother, who is my son, Mm -hmm. I never lost him because he's my son. Right. It all comes back. He came back. I believe all three of my children were in my past lives as someone else. Mm -hmm. My sister-in-law was there. Yeah. I mean, we could have gone on for days because... I mean, you've had so much. I'm a very old soul. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm so glad that I went within and brought out Christine. Mm-hmm. And the singing, I'm not understanding that. I don't have the singing voice, really. It doesn't matter. It's, we're not talking about singing in public. <laughs> I know. What, what you're basically higher self is saying, you need to get that joy out. Yeah. And it doesn't matter whether you're singing in a bathtub or a shower or... Or just in the garden or whatever it is. But I got a sore throat right now. <laughs> so whatever, something is definitely working. Yeah. Something is releasing. Yeah. Well, that's your My stomach right hurts because a it's, bit. It, because it's being worked on. It's like you're having surgery, my God. (laughs) And it's like my third eye Mm -hmm. is open. Yeah. How can I give psychic readings if my third eye is closed? Mm -hmm. But it wasn't closed. It wasn't completely closed, but it was blocked. It was like, like here's how I can explain it. It's like carbon, Mm -hmm. just a buildup of residue. Mm -hmm. It'll be gone. You needed a cleanup. Yes. Polishing. Yeah. So like polishing well, your glasses. Yes. You know? Yes. So did you uh, think that it was going to be like this? No. Indian? Me? <laughs> boy? Indian boy. I'm such a girl. Yeah. But even, <laughs> I've been even, a man and a boy. But even your throat was grazed in that one. Yes. Yeah, I don't get that. The oh, arrow yeah. across the throat. Almost and killed. But that would have been from my own kind, because I was an Indian. Because you were, yeah, because you were in the middle of the of the fire. That's true. Yes. But and my throat right. hurt. It was bizarre. So you I did love, good. I love this. Amazing. Yes. You want to keep this private? I don't care. You can put it on. Yeah. Wow. Wow. yeah. <laughs> wow. This is, I, I lost count of how many past lives you had. But there's a lot of past lives. A lot. So tell everybody what you expected when you came here and what you got. I expected just to have a couple of questions answered. Uh And I had things opened up that made sense to me from past lives Uh that, I mean, wow. Um, I was just expecting to come out of it maybe with some things unlocked. Uh Uh-huh. Really wanted to know about a new love in my life, Mm -hmm. because I feel like at my age, it's time. (laughs) And uh, I think I got all my answers. So, how did you see all of these things? Did you see it like a movie? Did you see it like a first person? It was a movie. It was more... I I was looking at it. Mm -hmm. So it was... And it wasn't a glimpse. It was like an actual full-on, mm-hmm. yeah. Were there more things that were happening that you weren't seeing? Oh, yeah. There were so many things going on. Yeah. Uh, the boy, the Indian boy. And, mm-hmm. like, there was just stuff going on all over the place. Yes. And he was hiding. And uh-huh. his throat hurt. And he was humble. And, wow. Yeah. Because a lot of people wonder why it takes people so long to express themselves. You know, like you're not talking all the time. You're kind of pausing. What happens when you're pausing? Well, you're just trying to grasp the whole concept of what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, without having an ego, because let me tell you, when you're under hypnosis, the ego's not there. (laughs) So if I had an ego... It wasn't I, there. I wouldn't have paused. 
Uh-huh. I would have just... Now, yeah. Mar- Mardell went into this much faster. We didn't even do an induction because... Tell them what you do. I'm a professional psychic. So I go into my own self-hypnosis very easily. Mm-hmm. But I can't do this for myself. That's right. So yes. that's what happens when you're reading for other people. You can't read for yourself. And, and right now we are in Seattle. Yes. And beautiful here. It is beautiful here. And where, where did you come from? <laughs> I came from Montana. <laughs> How long did it take you to get here? Well, I actually drove from one part of Montana to the other part. Uh-huh. So we drove about eight hours. Yeah, it was worth it. That was amazing. I would have drove for eight days. This so, was great. So you like this? Yes. So you recommend this to other people? I do. I Fantastic. do. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. So if you would like a session with me, you can go to Uh It's very easy to sign up. And I book way out into the future. Yes. And uh, in, in your case, um, you did sign up for my newsletter probably. Yes. Saw that I was coming to... A city near you. I guess Seattle is the closest city to hey, Montana. Travel eight days if you have to, but you've got to see this woman. Wow. And so you can sign up for my newsletter and you will get an email telling you where I'm going to next. And if it's a city near you, sign up. Sign and up. Fast. Yes. Really fast, like fast. And then you can come see me. So I'm, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Bye. Let me give you that hug. Ooh. Can you do the main?